Hi everybody. Well, we were trying to find a nice place to watch the sun go down, but then we saw this family of dwarf mongoose enjoying the last rays of the sun, enjoying the heat from the termite mound. It would have warmed up during the day. And we also had some yellow-billed hornbills who were getting the last morsels of food. They're actually still here. They're just to the left in the tree. But some of you may have heard us talking about the relationship that the hornbills and dwarf mongoose sometimes make. And here we are. We actually have it happening right in front of us. So there is a dwarf mongoose slowly making its way back to the rest of the family. So it's known as a mutualistic relationship because the dwarf mongoose have the benefit of extra eyes that are often sat higher than they can be in trees. And then the hornbills benefit because if there's anything that runs away from the dwarf mongoose insect-wise, then they get to eat it. And look at that. Very important, having a bath before they go to bed. You see everyone partaking. Look at that. That is just one of my favourite sights. And it helps to strengthen the bonds between the family. The bird calling behind us. Hashtag Safari Live, YouTube. If you could hear the bird that was calling just behind us. There's actually a very cute little bird up to the left in the tree. Golden breasted bunting. I don't know. Oh, it's just flown off. <laughs> So sometimes you'll actually find the hornbills waiting by the termite mound where the dwarf mongoose are sleeping in, waiting for them to wake up, and vice versa. Sometimes you'll see the dwarf mongoose waiting for the hornbills to arrive so they can go out and forage together. And it looks like that could be the case. So now they've, uh, <laughs> now the mongoose have been bathing. The hornbills have decided Now's a good time to preen as well, so they're partaking in the preening and cleaning of their feathers.